Sophia, my desktop is a mess. There are files everywhere. What do I do? Well, let me help you arrange these into neat folders. Folders? What are they? How do I arrange these files and folders? I would love to learn about this. Please do tell me. Relax. Let's know about folders in this chapter. An operating system serves as an interactive interface between the computer and the user. It aids the CPU in processing. It also helps to manage the computer's memory and control the hardware and software. The most commonly used operating system is Windows. Linux and DOS are two other examples of operating system. Windows graphics are very colorful and user-friendly. It has various menus. It can run multiple application software at a time. Let us learn about the features of Windows 10. Features of Windows 10 Windows 10 is the new Microsoft Windows operating system and the successor of Windows 8 operating system. It is a user-friendly and flexible computer operating system like Windows 7 with the start menu developed by Microsoft. It released with mostly positive reviews in July 2015. Let's know about the features of Windows 10. It's free. One of the best things about Windows 10 is that it is completely free to upgrade. Microsoft announced that it will be available at no charge for the first year of Windows 8.1. Windows Phone 8.1 and Windows 7 users. Easy to use. Windows 10 has a very attractive blue highlighting feature. Pictures, icons, tiles, themes and graphics make it quite attractive and user-friendly. Start menu. Windows 10 has a new updated and improved start menu. It gives quick access to all apps and services. It is divided into Two panes. The left pane has quick access to all apps, file explorer, settings and power options. In the right pane, there are various apps in the form of tiles. Cortana, the search tool. Cortana is a new feature of Windows 10. It is a voice-activated personal associate which can be used to set reminders get weather forecasts, send an email, tell jokes, find files and surf the internet and much more. To get started, type a question in the search box on the taskbar or select the microphone icon and talk to Cortana. Security Improvements Windows 10 includes Windows Defender by default. Windows Defender is just a changed version of Microsoft Security Essentials. It has antivirus protection to safeguard our system. File Explorer File Explorer is also known as Windows Explorer. It is a core part of the operating system. Now we can use the shortcut Windows plus E to open the File Explorer. When it opens, we can access the frequently used folders and recently used files. Microsoft Edge Windows 10 has a new web browser called Microsoft Edge. It provides new ways to find stuff and read or write on the web. Its other features include a reading mode and the ability to handle either a keyboard, pen or a finger. It is integrated with Cortana to provide additional information. For example, when we are on a web page for a restaurant or hotel, Cortana will make a booking and display information such as opening times and much more. Task View It is a new button present on the taskbar. It has the facility to open multiple desktops at the same time and there is no limit to the number of desktops that can be opened. Window Snapping This feature allows us to drag and drop a window to any corner of the screen. This way, we can open many windows simultaneously. 
calculator and maps. Microsoft has developed a standard calculator in Windows 10. The desktop calculator in Windows 7 and Windows 8 had a simple interface. But this one is very powerful. It is also very neat looking. The new maps guide us everywhere and works upon our voice navigation. Files and folders. When we use program like the Excel or the Paint and save our work, a file is made. This file is a way of organizing information on a storage device. It cannot be saved without a name. There are two parts of a file name, the name given to the file and the extension. The files made in different programs have different icons. For example, a PowerPoint file and an Excel file will have different icons. When these icons are double-clicked, the respective file or folder opens. A folder is a location where we can store our files. This is our own space where we may keep our own items like films, pictures, music and much more. We can create, name or rename and delete a file or a folder from its destination. Managing files and folders Files and folders on a computer can be managed by a program known as the File Explorer. It can be used by the user to look into the organization of files. Files and folders can be copied, moved, renamed, grouped and their view can be changed in the File Explorer. Let us learn about the File Explorer. Opening the File Explorer To open the File Explorer, we have to follow either of these steps. Using the Start menu, click on the Start button and then click on the File Explorer. A screen of the file explorer will be seen or using the search box. Type file explorer in the search box. File explorer will appear in the results. Click on it to open the file explorer. All these steps will open the window of file explorer. The most convenient step to open the file explorer is the first one. Let's learn about the parts of a file explorer window. There are two panes in the file explorer window. The left pane or the navigation pane and the right pane or the file list pane. The left pane shows list of storage media of the computer or the folders in that storage media. The right pane shows contents of the folder or hard disk selected by us in the left pane. Task performed on files or folders. A number of common tasks are performed on the files and folders. Let us learn about these tasks one by one. Creating a new folder. A folder is a location that stores multiple files and other folders. The steps to create a new folder are as follows. Step 1. In the left pane of the file explorer, Right click on any blank area. A context menu will appear. Step 2. Click on the new option. Step 3. Click on the folder. A new folder will appear in the right pane of the screen. Step 4. Type a name for this folder. Step 5. Press the enter key. The new folder will appear at the specified location. We can create any number of folders and can store folders inside any folder. Folders created inside a folder are called subfolders. The steps to create a new folder inside a folder are the same as explained above. Creating and saving a file. Creating a file is very simple and important. Let's learn to create and save a file in Word 2016. The steps to create new document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file tab. The backstage view will appear. Step 2. Select the new option from the list on the left side of the screen. Step 3. Click on the blank document in the right pane. A blank document will appear on the screen. Step 4. Type the matter on the blank page. Step 5. 
After completing work, it is important to save the document so that the typed information is not lost. Before saving the work, Word gives a default name to every file. For example, document 1, 2, etc. Step 6. Click on the File tab and from the drop-down menu, click on the Save option. Or, we can click on the Save icon on the Quick Access toolbar. Step 7. Select this PC option from the pane or a location where we want to save the document by clicking on the Browse option. Step 8. The Save As dialog box appears asking to select the place where we want to save the document. Step 9. Select the place and write a name to the document in the file name box. Step 10. Click on the Save button to properly save the document for future use. We can see the given name of file at the title bar. Renaming a file or a folder Renaming a file or a folder means to give a file or folder a new name. Renaming is done on the existing file or folder. The steps to rename an existing file or a folder are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file or the folder to be renamed. Step 2. On the toolbar, choose the Organize group on the Home tab. Step 3. Then click on the Rename option. Step 4. Type the new name and press the Enter key. Or, Step 1. Right-click on the file or the folder to be renamed. A context menu will appear. Step 2. Select the Rename option from the context menu. Step 3. The file or folder name will get highlighted. Step 4. Type the new name and press the Enter key. Selecting a file or a folder We can select a file or a folder to perform many tasks on it such as read, write, delete or copy. To perform any task, we have to select the file or folder first. We can select a file or a folder by simply clicking that file or folder. After selecting other operations or tasks, can be performed. Selecting all the items. To select all the items, press Ctrl plus A keys. Selecting items which are next to each other. The steps to select items which are next to each other are as follows. Step 1. Select the first item. Step 2. Hold down the Shift key. Step 3. Extend the selection using the arrow keys. Step 4. Release the shift key. Selecting items which are not next to each other. The steps to select items which are not next to each other are as follows. Step 1. Select the first item. Step 2. Hold down the control key. Step 3. Now click on each item that we wish to select. Step 4. Release the control key. Copying a file or a folder. Copying a file or folder means to make a copy of the original item. The copy reflects the same content that is present in the original one. The steps to copy a file or a folder are as follows. Step 1. Select the file or the folder we wish to copy. Step 2. On the ribbon, choose the clipboard group on the Home tab. Step 3. Then click on the Copy option. Step 4. Now go to the location where we wish to copy the file or the folder. Step 5. On the ribbon, again choose the clipboard group on the Home tab. Step 6. Click on the Paste option. The file or folder will get copied at the selected location. Moving a file or a folder. Moving a file or a folder means to move the file or folder from one location to another. It is very similar to copying a file or a folder. In moving, no duplicate file or folder is created. Here, we move a file from one location to another. The steps to move a file or a folder are as follows. Step 1. Select the file or the folder we wish to move to another location. Step 2. On the ribbon, choose the clipboard group on the Home tab. Step 3. Then, click on the Cut option. Step 4. Now go to the folder where we wish to move the file or the folder. Step 5. 
on the ribbon, again choose the clipboard group on the Home tab. Step 6. Click on the Paste option. The selected file or the folder is moved to the desired location. Deleting a file or a folder. Deleting a file or a folder means to remove that particular file or folder from the computer. We can delete extra unused data from your computer. The steps to delete a file or a folder are as follows. Step 1. Right click on the file or the folder that we want to delete. A context menu will appear. Step 2. Click on the delete from the menu. The selected file or folder will be deleted. Or we can also delete a file or a folder by dragging it to the recycle bin. Or select the file or folder and then press the delete key on the keyboard. We'll also delete the file or the folder. Restoring a file or a folder. Restoring a file or a folder means to bring back a deleted file or folder again on its previous location. Sometimes we delete a file or a folder by mistake and need to get it back. By using the restore function, we can get the deleted files or folder back. All the files after being deleted are directed to the recycle bin. To restore them, it is necessary to access the recycle bin. We can only restore those files or folders which are not permanently deleted from the recycle bin. Follow the given steps to restore the file or the folder. Step 1. On the desktop, open the recycle bin by double-clicking on it. Step 2. In the recycle bin, select that particular file or the folder which we wish to restore. Step 3. Right-click on that file or the folder and click on the Restore option or on the toolbar, choose the Restore the Selected Items option in the Restore group. The file will be restored back at its previous location. Opening a file or a folder To open a file or a folder, we should follow these steps. Step 1. Find the file or the folder that we wish to open. Step 2. Double-click on the file or the folder icon to open it. The file will open in the software which is indicated by its extension. We can open a number of files at the same time as long as they have the same default program. To open a file in different software, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Right-click on the file we want to open in the different software. Step 2. Click on the Open with option. Step 3. Click on the compatible software in the list. The particular file will get opened in the selected software. Changing the view of files and folders. In Windows 10, the File Explorer is provided with different views of files and folders. The views can be changed by clicking on the options in the Layout group on the View tab. Dictionary. Desktop. It is the screen we see when we switch on the computer with labeled icons on it. Icons. These are the labeled pictures on the desktop which open a specific program or a document. They may represent a file or a folder. File. A file is a way of organizing information on a storage device. Folder. A folder is a location where we can store our files. Let's refresh. An operating system acts as an interface between the computer and the user. Its job includes managing the computer's memory, helping the CPU in processing, controlling the hardware and software and much more. When compared with Windows 7, Windows 10 is more advanced and has more features. Files and folders on a computer are managed by a program known as File Explorer. A file is created whenever we save our work in any program, PowerPoint or Paint. When a file or a folder is deleted, it is moved to Recycle Bin. When a file or a folder needs to copy to another location, Copy and Paste option is used. When a file or a folder needs to be moved to another location, cut and paste option is used. We can change the view of the files and folders.